Hi guys, quick bit of news. Um, I received an email from Trunk Club that they now, if you get items from Trunk Club and need alterations, um, Nordstrom will do them. Some of the simpler alterations like hems are complimentary. So if you go through Trunk Club and get a, uh, you know, trousers that are just too long and if you have a Nordstrom near you, you can just take it over, bring your receipt from Trunk Club and they will hem them at no charge, which is great. There's a whole bunch of alterations they'll do at no charge and there's other ones they do at a fairly low charge if you uh, received it from Trunk Club. So I'm gonna tack this on to the beginning of my Trunk Club video. I've already filmed that, but I'm gonna put this on at the beginning because um, I just thought that was great news. And uh, if you wanna try Trunk Club, there is a link below. Um, I have a referral link where you can just go to the website or use the referral link of a different YouTuber that you like. And um, now you know if something is the size isn't quite right, you might have the ability to get an alteration done for it at low cost or for free. So that was really cool and I'm excited. Stay tuned, the video's coming. Okay, hi guys, I just got home from work and what was waiting for me was a trunk, which was funny because when I checked my tracking, it wasn't going anywhere, it was just like packed but not sent. So there must've been a glitch there. Magic. It appeared, they just beamed it out yesterday and it arrived on my porch today while I was at work. Anyway, let's open this and see what I actually got. I did see a preview of it. Oh yeah, I don't have anything to open it with. What you got for me, Mary? Oh, we've seen this before. I gotta get more. Uh, you gotta get more stuff. All right, more this objects. is her sword cane. Let's see if we can. Now, Trunk Club, it's just attached. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's pretty dull, that one. Well, what good is it then? Oh, no, it was the working. closest one. It was the closest one. All right. Someday we should just do a video about your collection. Thank you. And the collection needs to grow. All right. I should show you. This is just a sword stick. There you go. All right. Let's open this up and see what we got. It's a little trunk. Now, I like the collar on the top. There was, I saw, um, actually in a Nordstrom, I went to get myself an undergarment. And I saw the cutest little raincoat. It was exactly lightweight for summer. And it had little birds all over it. I thought they were sandpipers. I think they're oyster catchers. It wasn't in my size. So I actually asked Megan to include it. And it appears she did send me the same brand of raincoat, but a different. Ooh, this looks like it's navy or black and white. Y'all know how I feel about black and white. I'll try it. But I really like what I'm seeing on the top. You know what I did? I untied the bundle without showing you the bundle. Like I said, I'm just back from work. That's the bundle. It looks pretty much like the colors I usually ask not to get. And that's been a continued issue um, with Trunk Club is the, the color issue. I don't know, communication thing. You get in there, this is your uh, return shipping label. You just stick it back on the box, return anything you don't want, ooh. tapes to tape it up. Mary just said, ooh. Is there a denim jacket? There is a denim jacket in there. Here's my invoice. And let's see what's in here. Yeah, that actually, I got a denim jacket from Trunk Club in my very first trunk, and oh, I did like it. You like green? Let's see, there's something in green. All right. Anyway, this little top, I have a feeling, what size is it? It's large. I asked her to, I asked her to switch my top sizes to medium because a lot of the bigger ones are too big. This, I can just about guarantee, will be too large. Because this flowy, swingy kind of thing is going to run big on me. It is not a petite. I've had NYDJ tops before, which is what this is, in large, and they're just too big on me. So I love the color. This is like a, they calling it apricot, right? You think they're calling the color apricot? I'm not sure. This is, it doesn't say. Um, I would call it apricot. It's beige, and it's got some orange in it. I love the colors, but I can guarantee you I need petite sizes, and I asked her to size down to a medium on tops that run large. I don't think this is going to fit. Here's the raincoat. All right. I do like polka dots. Now, I did tell her I like polka dots. I like polka dots. I like whimsical patterns. I like little birds on things. I like, you know, I saw a kid today in one of the classes that had little tiny cactuses all over their top. I love that. I love the cactuses. Any kind of little whimsical thing. You know what I would really like? I don't think anybody makes anything like this because no one but probably myself and your sister would like it. Little narwhals on things. Yeah. Little narwhals, yeah. Uh, honestly, the more whimsical, the better I like it. So I do like polka dots. I will say that. I need, this is a very light 
raincoat kind of vinyl-y, but for those summer showers where you don't want to wear like a big heavy coat, it's kind of what I need. I really, I do like polka dots, but I'm not wild about the dark colors, so I'll think about that. And of course, i got to try it on. Oh, this is green. Uh, light tea, and this is a medium, yay! All right, watch this one be too small. Um, <laughs> scoop neck might be a little too deep because it's not petite. Uh, that probably, that may affect it. It's a giant pineapple. Gosh. It's a giant pineapple. I probably okay. wouldn't have Warm this. colors, cool colors. I like warm colors. If this whole dress looked like this, ooh, that would be something to seriously consider. I am eager to try this on. What size is this? It is a medium. Hmm, in a dress over my <clears throat> lower portions, I'm not sure that'll work, but I am eager to try that, despite the pink. Another Nick and Zoe. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I like that or not. That's uh, kind of cool. It looks it's like cool. scales or something. Yeah, it's like, like dragon, dragon scales. scales. Yeah, I like it. Um... It is just a very light cardigan. I have a lot of cardigans, and it is going into summer, yeah, so I'm not sure, but I don't have dragon scales. Nick and Zoe tends to run expensive, but most of the Nick and Zoe stuff I've gotten, I've really, really liked. Oh, man, this actually looks completely different in person than on the preview. Um, it looked like it was a light brown. Actually, on camera, it's looking that way, too, but it's really an olive. Um, I don't know when the video is processed if it's going to still look kind of brown. It's definitely a muddy um, green olive, not a brown olive. It's definitely green with black. Um, another cardigan, which time of year I'm not wild about, but I really like this. Okay. This also, again, blue. Ooh, that's a deep V. Oh, I'm not going to be able to wear that. That like goes down below my cleavage uh, there below my boobs. Wear a, like white cami under it or something. Hmm. Like a black or, or a matching navy. Hmm. I am just not a navy person. Oh. It's got birds. Oh my goodness. See, birds trump color. <laughs> They're birds. Oh my goodness. I don't know what kind of birds they are, but that might, that might make a difference for this. I did tell her I like birds on anything. Maybe she does listen. But look how deep that V is. Yeah, I know. Wear a cami. I don't like wearing... And actually, it's thin enough. You probably need to. I'm not wild about wearing camis under things. I feel like it's a... This one's going to have the same problem. That's ugly anyway. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here's the pattern on this one. All right. Um, that's not bad. I'm not... Again, the color... These are just not my colors. These kind of dark bluish colors. I just don't like... I just don't like that color on me. Um, I have stuff in this because there's just a lot of stuff when you buy that tends to be toward these colors, but I don't care for it. I'll try it on though. And we'll I have nothing like this. This is that chambray, I think, material. And the top had a lot of yellow and gold and orange in it, which is what I like. So um, where it's cut along the bust, I don't know if that'll work for me, but I wanted to try this one and it has that on the bottom too. So that's interesting. It's interesting. I have nothing like that. If you like it, Mom, I'm happy for Okay. You. And here's the denim jacket. I like that. You should keep that one. Um, Mary's the one that convinced me to keep the first denim jacket. And again, it was the other one's a very, very light wash blue. I would love like a green colored denim or an olive colored denim or a mustard colored denim. I love mustard. Um, but blue jean material and denim is okay. That actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I use my denim jacket all the time. Now there's not a whole lot of summery stuff in here. <coughs> we'll see how these things look when they're tried on. Okay, this is very light. I thought because it feels like a sweater dress, it would be too heavy for late spring, which it is, although we've had a cool spring. It's not that heavy. Um, it's not summery. You know how people have body shapes, like am I an apple or am I a pear? I think it's pretty clear, judging from this, that I am a pineapple. You know, I might as well, I might as well throw this raincoat on just to do it. Now notice it's black and pink. I don't know how much clearer I need to be about the colors. Uh, my main concern, my main thing is fit. 
I like whimsical prints, but I like warm colors. I just, again, very clear. This side right here, love. This side, no. So, ooh. Hmm. Look a little closer at the collar. That's a nice hood. It's a nice feel. It smells like a shower curtain, which I expected, because I need a raincoat. Oh, look at pink. Don't like pink? I do like polka dots. Don't like navy that much, but I like polka dots. I don't know. Okay. Um, I think this is a little bit big on me, which I expected. Okay, so I walked into the kitchen wearing this, and Mary said, I don't think so. It's a little scoopy doopy. Um, so this scoop is just a little bit low. Good color, very comfy. Uh, crew neck would suit me better, like a lower crew neck, like up here. Higher scoop or lower crew? Right, went from very low neck to high neck. Um, Mary's looking at me from the other side of the camera. What do you think, Mary? I don't know either. It's, it's very yeah. bad. It's not too big, but it's baggy. Um, but I agree. It looks because again, my hips are my widest part, and I look like the letter A. Don't I? I mean, it's like or like a. I look like a beautiful. Kind of like a bell. Yeah. You know, like if you just um, want, like, this. Ding dong. <laughs> um, it's kind of a shame though because there's stuff about this I like. And, you know, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it works on me. This is the bird shirt. You see it from a distance. I'm wearing a, a long tank under it just because I wanted something that came up high enough here. Come in. I really like, this looks like flowers there, but if you look close, they're all birds. And any of you guys that saw my short Sunday video knows how kind of timely that is. Um, the navy blue color, the birds would trump it. Like, even though it's a color I'm not all that fond of, um, that bird pattern, I love birds on anything. This is very light, very comfy, but um, this V is really wide and really open. And I would always have to find something that fit under it really well. And I was looking at it because I like the birds so much. It's gorgeous birds. Um, I was thinking, can something be sewn across? What can I do with this? But I don't think anything would work. If you like a big V, um, this is awesome. But I think I'm going to have to rule it out just because of the V. And if they had this pattern and this material in a shirt that just came up a little bit higher, I would keep it in a second. Um, I don't want to have to in the summer wear two shirt, wear a cami and a shirt over the top. But man, I really consider this pretty strongly because I really love the pattern. Loads. This is a little Kaz One tank. Oop, excuse me. There we go. The little Kaz One tank. It is very light and very comfortable. Again, my trouble with this is color. Um, I'm almost a little frustrated. Uh, I'm not a fan of blues. This is kind of an indigo. Um, well, it's navy, I guess. In some light, I'm looking on camera, it looks a little more indigo on the camera or um, a hint of purple, but it's actually, it's definitely navy. Um, I also have it hiked up. You remember that Stitch Fix one I got? It was a very similar cut, and I kind of pulled it up a little bit because if I had this, the shoulders in the right place, the scoop comes too low, but that's an easy enough fix. If I like it, that's just, you know, getting someone to put a little stitch in there, and it's fine. So that wouldn't be a deal breaker. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I just, this is just not the color. It's extremely comfortable. Actually, most of the rest of these are uh, bits of outerwear. Now, I did say I could use another jeans jacket. 
And, uh, all right. So Mary saw this on me and said, Mom, you need to get that, which is what she said the last Trunk Club jeans jacket. The sizes in this box range from medium to this is an extra large petite. Wow, this is snug for an extra large. Because Megan sized up because she knew these were small. Um, I can, let me button it. Get this right. Okay, ignore the shirt hanging at the bottom. Just uh, pretend that's not there. You can kind of see this is really figure flattering. Um, I actually had it on last night for about 10 minutes. I wasn't doing anything messy. I just wanted to see how it felt if I moved around in it. And I liked it a lot. And then I want to stick my hands in the pockets. There's no pockets. There's no pockets here. There's no pockets on the inside. The other denim jacket I have, which I was just wearing, it's the one I got my very first trunk last summer. Um, it's a little bit big on me. I wear it a lot, even though it's blue. Um, it has pockets on either side. It's Caslon. It has pockets on the inside, too. And boy, do I use the heck out of those pockets. This is really nice looking. I'm just, oh my gosh, it's got this little thing there. I'm on the fence about this one. I was figured last night I'm definitely keeping this, and then I realized the lack of pockets. And that Here's the dragon scale sweater. This is the one that Mary said like dragon scales took it out of the box it's got a strange material on it and uh, it's a Nick and Zoe sweater this one's a little pricey this feels a little snug in my arms um, and uh, I thought it came I guess it's supposed to be a three-quarter sleeve with my short arms it doesn't come down all the way and it doesn't go up as far as three-quarters I could roll it up I think I don't love it enough it's also it's got a very rough, rubbery feel to it, this detailing. It is cool looking. And um, I think Megan picked it out knowing sometimes I like a little, I like Nick and Zoe and I like a little bit of interest to some of the clothes. It's certainly, it's not bad. Um, it's not really comfortable. So I think this is gonna be a return and I really don't need another cardigan. Speaking of another cardigan, um, yeah, we are going into summer. I, I did, I think I might have asked for a summer weight blazer or jacket because I don't have a blazer. And denim jackets, that one I have, I use the heck out of. So that I would get use of over the summer. I do have a number of regular cardigans. However, this is really striking. I probably wouldn't wear this till the fall, but think it looks gorgeous. I also think this is the same problem with the sleeves. You see how these three-quarter sleeves, they're just, they're not three-quarters on me unless I roll them up, but they're not long enough. So that's a little bit, that's me. That's, I really, really like the color on this. I like it tremendously. I think it's complimentary. Um, I also think this sweater is a size, this is a medium. And some of the mediums in the box fit me, but this one, I think, and again, I'd normally wear a cardigan open, but I do like to make sure it would fit close. Oh my gosh, the pattern on this and the color. On camera, again, this is looking brown. Does it look brown to you? I don't know when the video is edited if it'll still look brown. It is olive. Maybe if I come closer, I don't know if it, it still looks brown on camera. It's olive. In fact, the color it looks on camera, I absolutely love. I would love to get something in that color, but do you see how it's just too small? Um... The buttons are pulling just a little bit. It's a hair too small. It's not a lot too small. But I'm thinking going to a large, I think I might email Megan and ask if they have it. All right. I am wearing the Helena denim jacket from Cut From The Cloth. This is in, I believe, a petite extra large. And um, it fits so good. It's $74.50. I'm considering it, but the lack of pockets is probably going to make it a return. You can give me your opinion on it. The next thing is a three-quarter sleeve crew neck cardigan from Halogen, which is this one here that I really, really like. This is $45. I thought it was 50 something. It's $45. And while a cardigan this time of year is not my ideal thing to get, um, I am the pattern is so striking. It, then we have the Relax Slub Knit U Neck T. Just, that's just too deep. That's too big an opening for me. It goes down. Um, it goes down way too far on me. And so this is going to be a return.
that. The Linen Blend Henley Tank. That's the one I'm wearing. It keeps trying to go down a little bit. And it is a navy. It does look purple on camera, doesn't it? It's, it is light. It is so comfortable. It is only $30, $35. That's a good price for it. Um, it's the color that's throwing me. And it, hello. You, you want to come on camera? My hair's wet. Oh, Mary won't come on camera because her hair is wet. Actually, come on, you look like a stringy, wet monster. You can I mean, come I don't over. care, but All right. my hair is wet. Well, I'm going, you'll have to sit on the floor. You'll have to sit at my feet and be my disciple. Um, the jacket doesn't have pockets. That's the problem. Yeah, I love it. the best. It looks really good. Yeah, I know. I know. The next thing is, excuse me, Mary, this polka dot jacket. By the way, the official color, Mary? Gina was right. I was calling it black. It's dark, dark navy. It is navy. It says so right on here, so it must be true. Um, in some of the try-on, I was calling it black, and some I was calling it navy. It's really, really dark, but it is definitely navy. And Gina was over last That's night, right. and she said it was navy, and Mary said it was black, so Gina wins. And I didn't know. It looked, some lights, it looks one, this some looks pink. the other. That's Fish. pink. That's pink. It's got pink detailing. Those are not my colors. I appreciate the polka dots. Megan knows I like polka dots. Um, this also, this is sort of that shower curtain material. It's very light. Uh, it's pricey for the material. It's $74.95. However, I pinned the version that was coral with the little birds on it, the oyster catcher birds. I was calling them sandpipers. They're oyster catchers. I looked it up. Um, it was so cute that I was willing to pay for the pattern. That's what I really liked. This, I'm... Um, I don't like the color. Pattern's okay, but for $74.95 for um, a vinyl raincoat, there's got to be something special about it, and there's just not about this, so this one is, is a return. Mary, look what's next. Yeah. Pineapple! Um, I love the pineapple on that dress. I love the pineapple on it. Uh, it is a knit, it is a sweater dress, and we are going into summer, and even though it's a light sweater dress, I've been looking at it, and I it is not, it's not for the summer. It's not. I love this side of it. It's not you know, I said in the try on. I don't <laughs> like this color. I love that color. The sweater dress also clung a little bit to my problem area, which is what a sweater dress does with me. But I thought it was cute. I appreciated her sending a pineapple, something whimsical. Certainly, that idea was good. This is, it's one hundred and forty-eight dollars. And it's not something I really need for the summer or can use or completely 100% like, so it's going back. But cute pineapple. I did like trying it on because it had a pineapple on it. I'm glad you appreciate the pineapple. I appreciate the pineapple. All right. And the the next thing, okay, that must be this. NYDJ, print pleat back sleeveless split neck blouse. I should know that name by heart because I get one of these in almost every trunk, I think. They're always large and they always don't fit. It's funny, some of these things, the mediums are too small and the larges are too big and it just depends on the brand. What? Oh, Ding Dong Bell is next. Where's Ding Dong Bell? All right. This one I almost clicked don't send and I thought I'd try it because it was different and I tried it. And it has a, the neckline's perfect. This is interesting. My husband saw the bottom and said it looked like I should go through a checkout and get scanned. I thought that was cute. I thought it was interesting because it was different. The color is not my favorite down here, and it just didn't look right on me. That's a definite return. And that is the, uh, did I read it already? The Embroidered Mixed Media Top by Pleone, and it is $59. Now, Dragon Scales are next. I think we have more interesting names really than they like do. I like this one. You like this one? I mean, it doesn't look like, I don't know. I just think it's a cool concept. Like, it I is, wouldn't wear it. It's a very cool concept. It is also the Nick and Zoe Wildflower. I can't see the wildflowers. Open front cardigan. It is $158. And it's not it, comfortable either. It's not comfortable. And that that plus I really I don't need another cardigan. Um, the material, this material that makes sort of the ridges on it is very uncomfortable. But I really do like the idea of this. Like you said, it's got an interesting pattern. It's different. Um, that's kind of cool. It's very light, but it's going back. It's going back. 
And lastly, am I up to lastly yet? Yeah. Now you'll give me your opinions below because maybe you think I'm crazy about some of my complaints here. This, the bird shirt. All right, just love the birds. Um, it's the V that's the problem. It's just too deep on me. It's too open. And for a summer shirt, I don't want to have to wear a cardigan or, um, you know, a tank top under it. All right. So what I'm considering, I'm considering seeing if Megan can get me that uh, olive and black cardigan in a bigger size. And I will store it for the fall because I like it that much. And I'm considering this jeans jacket, but I think it's going to be returned just because of the lack of pockets. So let me know what you think about the stuff in here. I'm discouraged by the colors, but I think certainly some of the patterns that were in here were, were pretty interesting. They were up my alley. Um, fit was difficult and neckline was difficult and I may return the whole trunk. I have one day left to decide. So I'm trying to decide and hopefully I can get this video up and you can give me your feedback. So let me know what you think. Um, this was kind of my birthday trunk because I scheduled one. My birthday is in June in a couple of days and uh, I scheduled a trunk and I scheduled a stitch fix. I just remembered your birthday was coming up. Oh, my birthday's coming up. I really yeah. wouldn't mind a gift card for either Trunk Club or Stitch Fix. That I would be awesome. I not get anything out of this one. And the Stitch Fix should be here in about a week and a half, maybe. I tried to stagger them. This trunk actually came a little late. Megan and I had a miscommunication. It was supposed to come last week. Um, I tried to stagger them a little bit, but um, they're going to be pretty close together now. Uh, give me your feedback, and I will see you when the Stitch Fix comes. Bye-bye.